Now that I've improved my penmanship, I can start recording the discoveries I made below the waves. I've always wanted to know more about the merfolk, where they come from, why they do what they do for us pirates. I never thought for a single moment that I'd come across a whole species I had never seen or heard of before. From what I have discovered in the Shrine of Flooded Embrace, I pray we never see their like again. They were known as sirens, and they had a king and a queen. The king was murdered by the ancients, and the queen's rage was a thing to behold. She cursed the ancients, and they became ill. I haven't been able to discover exactly what happened, but it sounds unpleasant. But even this didn't satisfy the sea queen. She wanted to find a way to punish those who had wronged her for all eternity. Her desire for revenge led her to explore the forbidden powers of her people, searching for the perfect punishment. Any pirate worth their salt has come across a mermaid gem or two in their time. But did you ever stop to wonder if they were more than just trinkets you could sell to the companies for gold and reputation? Yes, you find them in the mermaid statues, but have you ever seen one anywhere else? Well, I have. These seamlessly harmless gems have a much darker side. The Sea Queen used them to imprison those from the world above. She bound their souls inside mermaid statues, and the power of the gems transformed them into something else. She calls these new creatures Ocean Crawlers, and they were her army, a way to take the fight to the land dwellers as well as corrupting and changing the poor souls inside. This process corrupted the gems too. These corrupted gems became known as Siren Gems. As I explored the shipwrecks and delved ever deeper, I came to realize that a huge battle must be taking place here. Ships crashed right through the shrine, which would surely have sent the sirens into a fury. Each side must have sought to destroy the other. No sane captain would have sacrificed this many ships without a good cause. It would have taken two powerful captains to command such a battle. Who could have such a commanding presence? <laughs>